Hi, Steve Lackmeyer here with The Oklahoman. We had a four-hour uh, marathon meeting of the Downtown Design Review Committee this morning where there was quite a contentious discussion over plans by Texas-based Heinz to build a 27-story tower and two nine-story garages uh, on the block bordered by Sheridan, Walker, Hudson Avenues, and Main Street. City staff had recommended that the committee approve eight of the nine buildings proposed for demolition. They suggested that the Union bus station built in 1941 be the one building that was retained. Preservationists were none too happy about any of these buildings being torn down, noting this represented the last remnant of downtown's old retail Main Street. The buildings were once home to Barron's Department Store, a Jenkins Music Store, restaurants, shops, and that pretty much started dying off as urban renewal started coming through in the 60s and 1970s. The plan for 499 West Sheridan, which will take its place, includes a 27-story tower that will take the place of what was the old Hotel Black at the corner of Sheridan and Hudson Avenues. It has most recently been known as One North Hudson, an office building. It will also call for the demolition of the lunchbox building. Uh, the, one of the garages will be put there, as well as the Union bus station where the garage will also replace. We'll have another garage at the corner of Main Street and Hudson. Both of these garages will have ground floor retail and there have been a few changes made to the design since this project was first unveiled a couple of months ago. The retail storefronts are deeper than they were. Uh, there's less showcase windows as they called them and more actual windows into the space. We also have what they're now calling a glass beacon tower on the corner of the garage facing Sheridan and Walker Avenues. Committee members voiced a lot of concern about the traffic that will be produced by this development and the another development proposed across street for a new og &E headquarters and residential towers. At the end of the day, we are looking at removal of the bike lanes and curbside parking that was added as part of Project 180 on this stretch of Walker. We are also looking at that becoming a four-lane street. It is currently a two-lane street. And we will also have admittedly a pretty dead area on walker between sheridan and main street this is one in detail that was not really debated by either side we had an interesting discussion uh, by proponents of the development saying oklahoma city has done a good job in preserving its historic buildings preservationists responded that we saw hundreds of buildings torn down during the era of urban renewal and that we're eliminating pretty much the last remnants of the mid 20th century. We're likely to see demolition start this spring. It could be as early as next month. They're hoping to complete this tower by late 2017. Devon Energy will be among the tenants. For more information and news about downtown development, you can follow my stories in the Oklahoman and on News OK and on my blog, OKC Central.